We're back at it again here with another video with Invest for Tomorrow. To all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all the subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about one of the top stocks setting up to squeeze. The number one stock based off of information that I found and everything is looking in the charts with potential it is speculative at the end of the day it's a penny stock we're going to look at all the information and you guys are going to be able to put it all together and i look forward to your thoughts down below in the comments about this stock but before we jump into the chart and all the information i have to share with you guys on why this is one of the top stocks number one stock setting up to squeeze i want to share with you guys the home runs of the day that were mentioned this morning over at the discord and it is something that you can become part of as well if it interests you the link is down below in the description. Let's talk about that home run and look at everything here with the top stock setting up to squeeze. The two home runs of the day were spectacular, guys. Even after the S&P 500 index pulling back and looking pretty red in the overall markets, we managed to find two opportunities that turned out to be home runs. And if this is something that interests you, I would like to invite you to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So here we are with PMCB. That's one of the stocks we were watching this morning. GLG was our worst performer, giving about a 3 to 5%, 5 to 10% jump. And then we were watching GRVI. So let's go ahead and see these charts and how these turned out to be home runs. So PMCB turned out to be one of our first home runs, and we caught this one pretty early on in the pre-market when it was consolidating. It started to run in a matter of 30 minutes. It was up 50% plus. And within an hour, it was up to a highest point of 70% plus. And the highest point of the day was 100% plus, guys. This was phenomenal for a Wednesday. And our other home run of the day was GRVI. We caught this one in the pre-market after pulling back, sitting sideways, had a slight pullback right back to those lows of the pre-market in the opening bell, and took off to a highest point of 30% plus in a matter of minutes. It was less than 15 minutes. That this all happened and the rest of the day it gave small jumps of five to ten percent three to five percent but this was phenomenal if this is something that interests you you're more than welcome to join us the link is down below in the description and we look forward to having you join us let's jump into these charts so the top stock setting up to squeeze is naov nano vibronics inc now this is a stock that i mentioned earlier this week back on the 16th and i have right here the date that I mentioned it, this was one of the stocks that we mentioned. It turned out to be the home run of the day. Mentioned it on August 16th, NAOV, and it was talking about its over-the-counter pain relief market with a pain shield relief technology, right? Like a new innovation in the medicine field, and it actually created a catalyst for the stock to run. And this turned out to be a 30% plus opportunity at its highest point in the day, right? We started watching it in the pre-market, August 16th. And it took off now i'm talking about it again because it's cooled off it's came back to these levels and it's showing strength here at 299 and, and this is something to be aware of and the information that i have here right based off of this whole entire list these are all the possible short squeezes it has a short squeeze here of 97 96 it's number one so even after having that run and that pullback and sitting at 299 it is showing potential here for a short squeeze Market cap is right here, 7088, which we're going to look at right here again. You could see it right there, 72 million, 70 million in total. And then we have here a short interest of 30% plus, guys, right here, 30%. That's pretty big, right? And if we actually look at the amount, right, of short interest daily, right, in the whole entire share amount, you could see that the borrow rate is pretty expansive here. You can also see here the amount of short interest daily, right? 48% is short volume. Then right here, 52 of short volume, 44, 51, 47. I mean, these numbers are high, guys. The one of the lowest days in this week so far was the 16th when it ran up. And if you actually pull right back up here, you can see that the short shares availability is 55,000, okay? Not millions. Not 100,000, 55. That's pretty low compared to the amount of shares that were traded in volume today. 
which was 26 million. So there's some potential here. Now this could be speculative, right? But it's the number one on the whole entire list. The short interest is 30% and the short volume has been close to 50% per day, guys. So this is pretty big as you see it. This pullback here is going to be important, but you could see the strength here, right? And there's not a lot of short volume area to get more of, right? Because of the fact that the short shares available is 55,000. So this is going to be big. And then also think about Max Payne, which is coming up on Friday. So a great time to be watching this is towards the end of this week and be aware of what's going on. It is speculative. And these are the key points I would watch. The lowest point of the day was down here 265. If that gets broken through, I would watch how it reacts between 265 and the lowest point before that jump on the 16th, which was right here at 248. See if there's some strength, just like the bulls are showing some strength here. And if not, this could be on its way down to newer lows and it could get pretty weak. But if this does break through resistance, which is 314, the highest point of the day, two rejections happen there and nearly a third one here at 315. So it's been rejected at that area three times. If that gets broken through, this could break out with strength, using that as support to continue going higher. And it could cause a possible short squeeze due to the fact that the shorts will need to cover by pushing it higher and turning the shorts from bears to bulls. Now, if this stock does push higher, breaks through 315 and starts going upwards, a significant resistance level, as we could see here, is up here at 418. Now, we've seen how this stock reacts when short squeezes happen because, I mean, this ran up from 70 cents all the way up to $3. Now, is that going to happen exactly the same to 3x? It's all possible, but that's speculation at this point. The most important thing is to focus on this high here of 419, 418, give or take. And if that gets broken through and turned into a support, the stock could take off to newer highs. Now, keep in mind, that's the 52 week high that we've seen in this stock. Now, if you zoom out, you know, there has been higher numbers, not much higher than what we've seen, but it is important to be aware that that would be a new all time high in the last 52 weeks. So that's going to be big for this stock. It's going to take massive volume. It is important to watch the current daily volume compared to the average volume. When the current daily volume is larger than the average volume, it could show a lot of potential of pushing it higher if the inflow actually significantly is bigger than the outflow. And the only way that could happen is through a short squeeze and forcing the shorts to cover and turn into bulls. As always, if you learned something new, don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell so you don't miss a single video that I post. Share this with a friend so they can receive the insight as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, let's make some money.